Hello everybody, my name is Jay Tomar, and today I will be talking about my Mars GT project. First, let's talk about Mars. Mars is like a barren desert. There is no liquid water or plants, and many dust storms occur. It is very cold, yet your blood will boil due to low, the low pressure. You cannot breathe because there's too little oxygen, but plentiful sunlight. Even with these harsh conditions, a civilization can still thrive. Two reasons you want to grow plants on Mars is for food and oxygen. This is because plants release oxygen and inhale carbon dioxide. They also make food. Needs and wants. Needs are things you ha have to have to survive, like food, water, air, and shelter. Also, sleep. Wants are things you, you don't need, but, but people have them for pleasure, like toys and video games. This is Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It, it, it is a hierarchy of needs that ranks needs from food to friendship. On the first level, there are needs like food, water, air, and shelter called physiological needs. On the higher levels, there are stuff like self, esteem, and, and respect. Also, the longer you wait to fulfill the needs, the more you want them. When someone fills all the needs and reaches self actualization that that basically means they they have completed all all the esteem needs, love and belonging needs, safety needs and physiological needs. The Mars One project. Mars the one, Mars One mission is a project focused on making a settlement on Mars. The mission is much simpler than other missions because there's already going to have shelter and breathable air waiting for them. That that for the humans that will come later. They will they will send a crew every two years and train the crew, and they would they, they would select the best applications. The way they would pay for it is by using the revenue from the from broadcasting the mission. A part of their webpage explains this more. The Olympic Games are are worth more than $4 billion in broadcasting rights and sponsorships. The 1969 moon landing is still the TV pr program with the highest viewership density ever. Imagine the vo value of a mission to Mars in the current media era. Mars One raised funds by having investors invest in a Mars One media company that held the rights to the mission. Sadly, the project ran out of funds in 2016 and was unable to continue. However, they believe they help other people and slash or organizations who want to go to Mars. This, this is my Mars research. I'll put a link in that in the description if you want to read it. There's also a proposal, which I'll also put a link for that. The colonization of Mars. The way this will work is that they'll send robots to the north to land on the northwestern part of Mars. This part has smooth soil and pl plenty of water from the polar ice caps. These robots will make an inflatable and airtight dome, which will be attached to a chamber with two doors, one to enter the chamber and one to exit the chamber. The way this will work is, let's say uh, my pointer is you, you would, go, you would go inside the chamber and close this door, and then you would go inside uh, the dome. All the air and pressure, instead of leaking out through the through the first door, it would it would just stay in here and the dome, because because this is also this is closed. When you're done tending to the plants, you would close this door, and you would, yeah, and then you would open this door and come out. There will be and so there will be almost no pressure leaks or oxygen leaks, and if there is. There will be air concentrators to, to make the pressure suitable for plant life. While the Mars One project is expected to cost around $100 billion, my product can be a low-cost solution that can help conserve water as well as energy. The product can be manufactured by using plastic sheets and therefore will be lightweight and cheap to make, depending on the size of a dome. The, the dome, a set a setup of domes and channels can be made as for as little as one hundred thousand dollars per dome, which is pretty small considering the Mars One project is a hundred billion dollars. Let's talk about the transpirator. Well, the main part of this is the transpiration system. Basically, what will happen is plants will lose water through transpiration, and the water will come up to the sides. 
there's two things that can happen to the water. It it'll either either slide back down to the sides into the channels and the gutters, or it'll it'll go up and fall down in, into the into the smaller dome, which then will have a small opening to have the water leak through into into the middle of the channels and domes, which will basically irrigate all the plants around it, and there, and these channels will ir irrigate all the other plants. This this will conserve water as well as, which will make it easier to farm plants and more efficient. Okay. This is some of my product proposal feedback. As you can see, was my was the explanation on my product clear? Yes. If you were to go to Mars, would you find value in my product? Yes. Do you believe this product fulfills helps fulfill a human need? Yes. And does my product need more explanation? No. This is a, this is the feedback I got. And so basically, just imagine there's a zero behind the uh, numbers. So ten will be a hundred, and two will be twenty. The feedback I got showed that many people recommend my product. I also ch changed the cost estimate because many people thought it was too low. This is the transpirator model in real life. There's the water collection system and there's the gutters. And so, yeah, that's my Mars One project. Bye.